but I am obsessed. I'm in my gourmand era. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited. <sighs> Y'all, I've been waiting to film this video for probably well over a month. So, welcome. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing a quite large fall fragrance haul. I've been shopping for a few months and I'm back on my band. We'll talk about that in a moment. But if you wanna see all the fragrances that I have purchased for this upcoming fall season and that I will be loving, then please keep watching. So if you guys like my content, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Chat with me down below and let me know what your scent of the day is. You guys have some fabulous fragrances and I get so many recommendations from you. So thank you for always sharing. I always say like, I'm not a fragrance connoisseur. I just know what I know about, but I, there's such a whole world out there that I have no clue about. So thank you all so much for always sharing your fragrances with me because it helps me know what to get next. And I'm currently not wearing one, but my fragrance of the night is going to be a Baccarat Rouge 540, which we love sexy band-aids. So I'm back on my band. If you guys have been watching my channel for a while, um, I'm a bit fragrance obsessed. Last year, or was it? No, it was this year. I did a fragrance declutter and I realized that I was losing my mind. I now buy at the beginning of a season and then that's it. Every time there's a new fragrance release, I don't need to buy it. I'm not at the point in my journey of being an influencer where companies send me every new release. And quite honestly, I've already told you guys, I'm very transparent. I don't make enough money off of this channel to spend a thousand dollars every month buying all the new releases like no I'm not gonna spend my money that way so I'm sorry I'm just not gonna be that fragrance influencer that shares all the newest latest and greatest because I don't get enough money from the channel because I don't get enough views so I have decided that once a season right before the season I will purchase all the fragrances that I'll be wearing for the upcoming season so let's quickly get into these babies I have a lot to share because your girl's been shopping now there are some summer fragrances in here because I did buy a few at the end of summer and I'll just lump them all into this video okay let's start with one that I have just been so obsessed with I have to give a shout out to my girl Denise Adore I will link her channel down below she speaks so highly of this fragrance so I had to get it. I should also note that I am in my gourmand era. So 90% of these fragrances are gourmands. I'm just really loving edible smelling fragrances. And I think because my life has been a little chaotic lately, gourmand fragrances just give me such sense of peace and calmness that I just spray them on my hand and on my arm every day and just sniff them. And people in my life think I'm crazy. But you know, however I decide to sell, soothe as long as I'm not hurting anybody I think it's okay so my first fragrance is Mercedes Benz Club Black now this is a scent for men but I don't know why they categorize it as such because this is definitely unisex oh I can smell it out of the box oh oh this just makes me so happy so to me this is a deep fruity sweet really really sweet edible vanilla with some benzoin now this smells a little feminine to me. I don't know why they categorize it as masculine. It's also an eau de toilette, but this performs like an eau de parfum. Uh, I just gotta spray it to experience it again. Whew. Mm. This literally smells like, it's just sexy. It's so sexy. So to me, this is the vanilla that I'm going to use. I mean, of course I'm gonna wear it on its own, but if I ever want to add a little more vanilla with a fragrance, I'm going to use this. Number one, because it smells delicious, but also because it's like 35 to $40. If you love vanilla, you need this fragrance. Don't let the fact that it's categorized as a men's fragrance scare you away. This is very, very unisex, bordering feminine to my nose. There's nothing really masculine about it to me. It's just vanilla. Beautiful, sweet, syrupy vanilla. To me, this is a close, close dupe to Guerlain's Spiritueuse Double Vanille. If you like that one, but you don't wanna spend $500, get this, I'll link it below. Shout out to Denise Adore, you were so right. And let me tell you, I wear that fragrance to bed because I really don't leave the house now, but I wear it to bed every night and 
I just smell myself and it just makes me so happy. So shout out to Denise Adore and shout out to Mercedes Benz Club Black. I don't know why it's an eau de toilette or a men's scent because it doesn't make sense to me. Okay, my next fragrance, I actually was on Fragrantica. Now, as you guys know, I use Fragrantica for everything. So this is kind of how I pick my fragrances. When I'm watching videos or I'm out at the store and I come across a fragrance, the first thing I do is go home and look it up on Fragrantica to see what the notes are, who the perfumer is, you know, just more information about the scent because I'm a nerd. But I also love seeing what fragrances are similar to said fragrance because I'm not that girl that's afraid of a dupe. I know not everybody likes a dupe, not everybody likes the gray market. Give me all the above. My girl Jessica, shout out to her. I will link her channel down below. She she sent me a sample of Rosendo Matu number five. Oh, that baby is so beautiful. It smells a lot like baby cat, so people say why it sells baby cat. But this is listed as a dupe. So I decided to purchase it, and I think I got it on sale for like $25. Latafa, I love Latafa's fragrances. This is Ish Al. Shukia Gold. Hopefully I'm saying that correctly. If I'm not, please excuse me. Let's give this fragrance a look because the packaging experience, darling, is everything. Y'all, look at this packaging experience. Look at this fragrance case. Okay, let me open it without, <laughs> without dropping anything. It does come with a booklet which houses kind of like Latafa's whole fragrance collection, which I love this because Latafa has some amazing fragrances. And they're not all dupes. Some of them are original creations. <sighs> look at the bottle. I mean, stunning. Now, it does look a little masculine. It's a beautiful bottle overall because it's very Middle Eastern inspired and just like fabulous, but it does look kind of masculine, but whew, baby, 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 baby. When I tell you, this is another vanilla. <laughs> oh, this is like a vanilla sweet caramel rubbery scent and a lot of people are thrown off because this is a dupe for Rosendo Mateau number five I believe and there's a rubber note to it but I like it it makes it different and interesting like I have a lot of vanilla fragrances here but nothing has like a rubber scent to it I want to say it probably has like benzoin and tonka there are deeper notes in this but it is more forward vanilla I will say that I purchased this about a month and a half ago and when I did the long Longevity wasn't that great, but I'm gonna let it sit and macerate and hopefully I'll get a little better performance from it. But this is a fabulous fragrance, very, very unisex. Leaning masculine, I would say. If you love a sweet vanilla that is like caramelized and deep and a little like burnt smelling in the best way, of course, you are going to love this. This stole my heart and I cannot wait to start openly sharing when I wear it because before I do a fragrance haul, I'm wearing all these scents. I just don't share them on my Instagram because like I want you guys to build up anticipation and watch the video. But Ooh, this is like date night going out wearing leather and lace and just feeling powerful and sexy and fabulous. Like, ugh. A really, really interesting vanilla. They have it on Amazon. I got it for $25. I'll link it down below. Okay, my next fragrance was actually gifted from Victor and Roth. So thank you so much, Victor and Roth. I feel like every season you all gift me fragrance and I am so, so, so appreciative. I got another Flower Bomb. Now, you all know that Flower Bomb is one scent that Oh, it's so candied, sweet, floral, but grown woman. This to me, I always say is like Prada candy for grown women because I'm not trying to say that Prada candy is not for grown women, but to me, Prada candy is just so sickly sweet that it smells a little not mature. Let's just say that. But this is like Prada candy to another level. It's a floral scent. Um, I sense a little patchouli in here. Very classically chic and elegant. Very sweet without being edible smelling. I love this one. Uh, you could wear this anywhere. It's a scent that I love, but it can be a little overpowering for me, so I don't wear it too much. But I have a friend that loves this, and I'm gonna send this to them. Once again, Victor and Roth Flower Bomb. A staple, staple, staple. Floral fragrance, beautiful. Um, it's a floral that has depth to it. 
it's just beautiful. It's not gonna be everyone's cup of tea, but this is like one of the OG classics that so many women love. And they also sent me this fragrance for men, and this is Victor and Roth's Spice Bomb Infrared. I've never tried this before. I've actually never tried any of the Victor and Roth scents for men. This looks like a little grenade. Oh, it's so sexy. This I think is supposed to be like a cherry, um, like, fresh peppery scent with a little lavender. To me, I get lots of wood. Lots of freshness and lots of wood. Um, I don't get the cherry note in this. I believe like it has red on the box because it's supposed to be reminiscent of the cherry note. I don't smell it in here. I get like lavender herbs. It's a very herbaceous green earthy scent but I don't get the cherry. Uh, maybe if I wear it on my skin, I will. This is a very masculine scent, but I like masculine scents, especially when I'm dressed like this. I love the juxtaposition of like exuding femininity, but smelling very masculine. I just think it's so sexy. So I will be wearing this. Maybe I will sense more of the cherry as it macerates or as my skin warms up. I'm not sure, but it is a beautiful scent, but it's masculine. <laughs> So thank you so much to Victor and Raw for sending me over these great goodies for fall. Okay, my next scent is a Chris Collins baby. And if you watched my Chris Collins Anima Connect connection anima collection video i will link that down below then you already know what this is this is a scent that i have been loving since i attended his master class the fragrance comes like so now this is a scent for summer but i was so obsessed with it that i had to buy it in july chris collins lost in paradise Oh my goodness. Now, if you haven't seen that video, I'll give you a little gist. This was my favorite from the Anima collection. Actually, it was the only one I liked. This is a summer scent. So to me, I get coconut water, a little bit of jasmine, and I get salty notes. I get marine notes. It's a very aquatic, fresh coconut water. Lots of coconut scents lean very beachy, like sunscreeny. This to me goes in a fresh way. So I like to describe it as coconut water, laundry detergent, and salt. And I know that probably sounds so crazy, but this smells so beautiful. It's fresh. It's Coconut is a fruit, so I will call it fruity, but it's not sweet per se. Very, very androgynous. A man or a woman could pull this off beautifully. I love mixing this with Parfum de Marley Delina. In the summertime, going out with your girls with this and Delina mixed, the combo is so, so pretty. I just love this scent so much. I did not like it at first because I thought, oh, it smells like every other beachy scent. But as you sit with it, the longevity is actually great and it smells very salty and marine and fresh and not like a coconut, like a sweet coconut, but coconut water. It's a very aquatic coconut. Ooh. I get the hype around this fragrance. It is beautiful. Yeah, I probably won't get to wear it this fall. Maybe if I go on vacation or something. Oh, actually, I do have a little trip coming up. I will take her. But Chris Collins' Lost in Paradise is a stunning coconut water scent. And in that same category, I was actually gifted Replica Beach Walk from Replica. So thank you so much to Mason Margiela Fragrances for sending over Beach Walk. Now, Beach Walk is a fragrance that I have tried plenty, plenty times in store in Sephora, but never purchased it because before buying this, I was never a fan of like a beachy scent. I just felt like they were so generic and I didn't need it. This is beautiful. It is sweet coconut with like floral notes. It's not salty, it's very fresh. I wanna see if they have the notes on here. No, but I will put the notes across the screen. So whereas Lost in Paradise is like a coconut water, this is like a sweet coconut, like you're drinking out of a coconut with a straw. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful aquatic scent. It is a little salty in nature, but not as salt forward as this. So this is a lot more sweet and feminine and Lost in Paradise is a bit more masculine and or unisex androgynous. The one thing I will say, Longevity is horrible. You all know how I am when I receive products from brands. It's always for consideration. I don't have to share it, talk about it, anything. 
I will keep this and travel with it. I'm going on a tropical vacation later this year, so I'll take it, but I would not spend my money on it, and I'm just being honest because the longevity is horrible. And there's nothing really unique about it. I would much rather pay a little more and get lost in paradise. But I know that there are people who love this scent and swear by it. I also have the body chemistry of a man. So maybe it just doesn't wear as long on me. It is beautiful, but the longevity, y'all know how I feel. I don't like having to reapply, but it is a beautiful scent. So once again, thank you so much to Replica Mason Marcella Fragrances for sending me Replica Beach Walk. Okay, my next fragrance, let's get back to our vanillas. This is Montal's, oh, actually I think it does have vanilla in it. This is Montal's Chocolate Greedy. Now the first person who I ever saw speak about this I think was Simply Aisha here on YouTube. Like I said, y'all, I'm in my gourmand era. This is what the packaging looks like. It comes in this little plasticky nylon sleeve. I'm in my gourmand era. And I never thought I would want a chocolate fragrance, but I am obsessed. This makes my mouth water. So this is Chocolate Greedy. The name is quite fitting. <laughs> Let's give her a spray. Now this one can be really, really intense and sometimes it makes me sneeze because there is a strong note in here that's very, very, very potent. Whew. But this is like vanilla, chocolate, and oranges. Like an orange peel, like an orange zest. If you're a baker like myself and you know how you sometimes zest an orange and put it in a cheesecake, that's the type of orange that's in here. This smells like a chocolate dessert. Every time I wear this, people ask me, did I just bake brownies? And I'm like, <laughs> no, it's Chocolate Greedy by Montal. So it's very literal of chocolate. If I could liken this to any food, it smells most like Reese's Cocoa Puffs cereal. It is very chocolatey, very sweet, but the mandarin orange kind of gives it a depth and it grounds the fragrance without making it too overwhelmingly chocolate. I love this. Very intense though, it's very long lasting and chocolate is not going to be everyone's vibe and it's very chocolate forward. But I don't know what I'm going through with my fragrances, but I am obsessed with Chocolate Greedy. This is fabulous. It's not for the faint of heart, but I love it. Once again, this is Chocolate Greedy by Montal. Okay, my next fragrance. <laughs> It's another vanilla surprise, surprise. This is actually very exciting for me because it's my first fragrance from the Dior Privé line. And there were so many fragrances that I wanted to get. Y'all know that I'm really loving Dior Riviera, but right now like it's fall. So I wanted to get something fall inspired. I think it was for my birthday back in the summer, Kendra and I went to smell all the Dior fragrances. Now here in Atlanta, they don't have them at the Dior store in Buckhead, I'm not sure why. They don't have them at the Dior store in Phipps Plaza, I'm not sure why. I think we found the entire collection at Saks. But the woman was so rude. We walked in and we spent about seven to 10 minutes in there. She didn't even turn around and say hi. I was gonna say something, but I shouldn't say that because uh, <laughs> she was just so rude. The customer service was horrible, so I knew I wouldn't purchase anything in store, but I sampled a few fragrances that I liked and put them on tester paper. So later that evening, we went to dinner and I kept sniffing it because I told y'all I'm on this thing where I just want to sniff yummy fragrances because they bring me such peace and calmness. <sighs> I was obsessed. So the fragrance that I decided to pick up as my first Dior Privé fragrance is Vanilla Diorama. First of all, can we talk about the packaging experience? Shout out to Dior. Also, purchase Dior online because they give you so many gifts with purchase, so many samples. So this is Vanilla Diorama and I am obsessed, okay? Obsessed, you gotta put the shest on it. <laughs> Whew, this is like, a very androgynous, masculine-leaning vanilla. I'm gonna spray it. Whew, this is like vanilla, rum, caramel, tonka bean, benzoin. It almost reminds me of a cross between a vanilla fragrance and MFK's Grand Soir. There has to be amber in this. It's so beautiful. It's like, 
it's a little masculine and I'm telling you guys, I am a woman who likes to smell masculine sometimes. I just think it's so sexy. This, oh, and it smells spicier on paper, but as it dries down, it gets so sweet with that rum note. I think there's rum or something in here. Alcohol scent in this fragrance and it is intoxicating. I am obsessed. I can't wait to start wearing this one openly. I know everybody likes Feb Delicios or all the other vanilla ones, but Vanilla Diorama stole my heart. It literally smells like vanilla and amber and rum had a baby. Oh, she is gonna get a lot of use this fall, for sure. Once again, that is Vanilla Diorama, my first Dior Privé collection scent, and I know I'm gonna get a lot more. <laughs> okay, my next scent, another scent that was inspired by my girl Denise Adore. I love her fragrance content. Her fragrance collection is so versatile. I really, really love it. She shared this fragrance probably six months ago, and something about it just, sparked my interest so I looked it up on Fragrantica and it said that it was a similar fragrance or like a dupe of the Parfum de Marly Ojean. And baby, I smell Ojean in Nordstrom one day. Whew, sweet, sexy, like cherry, deep notes, maybe some vanilla, just beautiful scent. That is a men's fragrance, but to me, it's very unisex. So this smells a lot like that. Atar Fragrances Kaltot Night. Can we get into the packaging experience? Y'all know how I feel about a good packaging moment, so let me open it. Can you say stunning? There are some other fragrances in the line that I definitely want to try, but this is Kaltot Night and it is like a cherry, deep, boozy, vanilla, ambery scent. Oh, oh my goodness, it is intoxicating. Oh, you know what this smells like? This almost smells like Killian's Angel's Share. It has some amber, maybe some benzoin and tonka. It's deep and sweet, but with some cherry in it. This baby is not one to play with, okay? You wanna talk about sillage on 10, longevity on 10. This is one of the most stunning fragrances I have ever smelled. And I love wearing it to bed at night, waking up in the morning and I can still smell the remnant of it. Oh my goodness. If you love a deep cherry sweet rum, cognac, like boozy scent, you are going to love this for fall and winter. Shout out to Denise because I am hooked. I've been wearing this to bed. The bottle is so lovely. I will definitely be <laughs> purchasing more from Atar Collection. I love this so, so much. Yeah, this is a stunner. Okay, we have a few more. I promise we're almost done. My next fragrance was actually gifted from Burberry. I just wanna say shout out to Burberry. Thank you so much for including me in this new release. It is very, very uncommon for me to get gifted PR of fragrance that I'm interested in. I received the new Burberry Goddess, beautiful PR packaging. You slide it out like so. There's a little note. It says, Keiko Beauty, we are happy to introduce the newest Burberry fragrance with you, Burberry Goddess Eau de Parfum. And it tells me how to tag it online. <laughs> We have to talk about Burberry Goddess. So I didn't even know that Burberry Goddess came out, but all my girls online were talking about it. Chelsea was talking about it. Chelsea Jackson has a YouTube channel. I will link it down below. My girl Brown Girl Lux was talking about it. So I was like, a vanilla? Y'all know I'm in my vanilla era. I mean, nobody knows because I haven't said it. <laughs> but in my mind, I was like, I'm in my vanilla era. I need this. So this is what the fragrance looks like. This is what the box looks like. Now this is also the first refillable fragrance from Burberry, so it's sustainable. We love that. I do want to say that everyone online is complaining of the price because I think this fragrance starts over $100, which, like it's Burberry, it's not MFK. Now I did receive this complimentary NPR, but that is a little pricey for just one ounce, but it is refillable. So when you do run out, you can just purchase the refill that I believe is five ounces and refill your bottle. So I feel like that's why they priced it a little higher. <sighs> Burberry Goddess is so beautiful. Now, 
This is a vanilla scent that is like none other vanilla because it has three types of vanilla, but it also has lavender. Now, when I hear vanilla and lavender, the first thing I think of is Guerlain's Mon Guerlain, which has horrible longevity on me, so I'd never purchase it. But that smells so comforting, just like a hug. It just smells like a hug from your mom. This is not like Guerlain's Mon Guerlain, so get that out of your mind. If you don't like that fragrance, don't think about it. To me, this is just a very sweet, feminine vanilla that almost smells candy-like. Think cotton candy, but not as sweet. Very, very feminine. The lavender in here is not masculine. Now, most times when lavender is added to fragrances, it gives it a very masculine, fresh, sharp, intense note. No, no, no. This is smooth and feminine and creamy. It is just so beautiful. To me, it's, it reminds me of Cabbage Patch dolls like from the 80s and 90s, because I used to love them. It just smells like a Cabbage Patch doll. I mean, more elevated, of course, and beautiful, but it's just soft and comforting. Maybe a tiny bit powdery smelling, but not too much. It's just a beautiful, sweet vanilla that is just so light, airy, and feminine. This is gorgeous. Now, is it something super unique? No. Do you need to run out and buy it? Maybe not. I would say it's worth a try just because it is so beautiful, but it's nothing like Vanilla Diorama. It's nothing like Ish Al Shukia Gold, but it is feminine and beautiful. This is like a very wearable everyday scent. Something I can wear to bed, to run errands around the house. Just beautiful and comforting. That is what I get. So thank you so much to Burberry for sending me your newest fragrance. I love it. It's nostalgic for me. It's not like groundbreakingly different and amazing, but I think it serves a purpose in my collection for sure. And I'm on a vanilla kick, so <laughs> I love it. Okay, y'all, my last fragrance was one that I actually teased in my Miami vlogs because I purchased it that long ago. Well, actually it was gifted, so shout out to said person. <laughs> this is La Perla, the signature fragrance. This was on sale at Nordstrom when I went one of like the three times that I went <laughs> and I loved it. I will say when I went home and sprayed the fragrance again, I didn't like it as much. So maybe I need to sit with this fragrance, but this is what my gift set looks like. So I have a 1.7 ounce bottle, a La Perla Signature hand cream, and I have a travel size La Perla Signature fragrance. The first thing I noticed is that there's a pearl on top of the bottle. You guys know that I live for my pearls, so I was automatically drawn to that. Now it is a beautiful floral scent. Oh, the atomizer is stunning. Oh, this is a sweet white floral crisp jasmine forward maybe oh this is like classically chic what you wear when you want to just smell very feminine it's very light but it does have depth to it i want to say there's maybe a little a little patchouli there's something a little spicy in this and deep this is gorgeous. I can't wait to see how it wears on my skin. Probably good in all four seasons. I don't know, I love this. Is it super, super unique and groundbreaking? No, but it's feminine and sweet. And I don't know, I really like it. It reminds me of Bond number no. nine, Madison Square Park. Like fresh and green and crisp and floral. Really, really like La Perla Signature. So guys, we have finally gotten to the end of this very large fall fragrance haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. <sighs> Your girl was shopping and I'm back on my band until winter. Let me know if there's anything in this haul that you would like me to review. Do you have any of these babies? Have you been on the lookout for them? Let me know. I can't wait to start using these fragrances openly and sharing them with you guys daily over on my Instagram. Thank you guys so much for watching for all your love and support. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.